every night before I go to sleep, I pray for all my cheerleaders and all the naysayers. Mm. And then I ask God to give these people everything he would give me. Like my life is now, I've experienced ego death. And what that's allowed me to do is like open myself up to being what dudes like, like Brolin and, and not to lump them all to the same category. And I probably shouldn't even do that. But other dudes that, you know, Mel, I remember seeing Mel at the Oscars with his head held high. And I thought, you know, I was sitting in rehab. This was the bullshit rehab. But I remember seeing that and thinking like, oh, man, I could do it, you know. And I got so much love in my life, so much joy in my life. Um, fearlessness that I didn't have before, you know. Um, a calm, a serenity. Um, my life is full. And it's not full of like the stuff that I was chasing before. I'm not here to like find my way back into nothing. Mm -hmm. Those people who don't get down with me, they probably never will, you know? Uh, to say that I don't love the craft is not true, but it's secondary to this other thing I got going on because this is all temporary. Mm -hmm. Like, if I sit for 12 years, it's because I'm supposed to be sitting for 12 years, you know? If, if I never work again, that's exactly what's supposed to be happening. Like, my purpose isn't tied up in my craft like that anymore. When I do show up, my way of working is totally different. How so? It's free. Like a jazz routine with me in the universe.